So now we're going to discuss the pattern, the for element in list, using enumeration. Now, this is going to come in handy. It's a, a nice shorthand, right, to get an index where you want it, right? So let's look at what, uh, what we looked at before. Uh, really quick, I'll highlight this. For i, comma, element in enumerate of list, do something, right? This is the pattern you want to memorize. But remember, before, we, we got a sum of cats. Amazing. What if, instead of a sum of cats, we wanted to get the indices of cats? And maybe we want to store those in a list. So if cat in element, what are we going to do here, right? We, we, don't, we need the index. So what we can do is just restructure this for index, i, comma, element, in enumerate. And if you think about what enumerate means, number is in there, so it's, it's enumerating, right? It's enumerating each value, each element in the list. It's attaching an index to it, and it's serving that index back to i. Now, if you think about this, uh, this is just creating a set of tuples, um, which you haven't learned about yet, but if you know anything about, a uh, tuple is just a paired, could be a paired or, or you know, set order of values, right? And so zero is attached to the first, one is attached to the second element, two is attached to the third element, etc. Therefore, we can get the indices that we want, right? So if cat is in the element, then we're going to take that index, right? that we're collecting here, that we're getting here, and we're, we're not going to add it, we're going to append it, cats, oh, whoops, not the sum of indices of cats, but the indices of cats, and we're going to append the index when appropriate. So at the end of the day, we're going to print Let me just get rid of that, and let's see what that gets us. Let's see if that works. Zero, okay, zero, one, two, good so far, three. Three does not have cat in it, so it's working. Catatonic does, catastrophe does, zero, one, two, four, five. That's how we just collected or accumulated the indices where cat is occurring across the elements of a list. So this is just one example of using enumerate. There are a number of different ways you can use this. Uh, I think this is an especially good example because it's going to come up a lot where you want to be able to later access every word in that original list. And maybe I can just demonstrate that really quick. So what if using these indices, we want to just traverse uh, this list. So for um, i in indices of cats, so for each index, we want to print from the original list that value of i. So notice we're not traversing LST anymore. We're traversing this new list, indices of cats, and we should be able to see every word that has cat in it. Cat, catfish, cattail, catatonic, catastrophe. So just, you know, furthering the concept and hopefully seeding how you can use this to solve problems that, uh, that you're presented with or, you know, you're working on a project on your own and you're, you're like, how do I get these indices or how do I filter this down or, you know, however you want to approach it, um, this should work.